Xiaomi has delivered on its big promise by introducing its flagship into the market to push competitors out of the scene. It's not just a quote, it's a masterpiece with excellent cameras. Indeed, Xiaomi 14 Ultra boasts powerful cameras with added smartphone features. It's akin to Nikon or Canon embedding a SIM card slot in their cameras and turning their operating system into Android. Stay tuned with me. Hello friends, welcome to the Aya Tech Global channel. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Let's move on to reviewing this beast. The design of the Xiaomi 14 Ultra is a direct response to criticisms leveled against its previous generation. The most notable change is the complete elimination of the protruding camera lens design which had faced considerable criticism. Instead, the back panel of the mobile phone in this model is smooth. With the removal of the camera bump, the Xiaomi 14 Ultra presents a smooth and sleek appearance without any unsightly protrusions. Additionally, the design of the edges on both sides, accompanied by uniform thickness and slightly curved display, significantly enhances the experience of holding and controlling the phone. Despite measuring 9.2 mm in thickness, this device feels very solid in hand, without any bulky or a heavy sensation. Furthermore, the elimination of the disproportionate gap between the thin edges and the thick top portion, which is often associated with traditional curved displays, is a notable improvement. This phone measures 161.4 mm in length, 75.3 mm in width, and has a thickness of 9.2 mm. It is available in three different weights, 219.8 grams, 224.4 grams, and 229.5 grams, depending on the material of the body. Regarding the material used in the Xiaomi 14 Ultra, I must say it has stirred up a storm. Until now, most phones have been using Gorilla Glass Victus and Gorilla Glass Victus 2 which are indeed excellent and durable materials for the body. The Samsung S23 Ultra utilizes Gorilla Glass Victus to both on the front and the back. The S24 Ultra utilizes Gorilla Glass Victus to on the back and Gorilla Armor on the front, which is even more durable than Gorilla Glass Victus 2 and exclusively made for this phone. Now let's move on to Xiaomi's masterpiece. While the company used Gorilla Glass Victus 2 in the 13th version, in the 14 Ultra, they employ Xiaomi Yield Glass, which has been tested to be 10 times more resistant to impact than Gorilla Glass Victus 2. Yes, you heard it right, 10 times more resistant, meaning it's practically shockproof. As for the frame material, this phone is released with both aluminum and titanium frames, yet Xiaomi has also joined the titanium league. In the display section, the Xiaomi 14 Ultra features a 6.7-inch curved display. It utilizes Xiaomi Custom C8 display panel technology, a unique technology with WQHD plus resolution and a 1 to 120 Hz LTPO refresh rate, which provides higher brightness with significantly lower battery consumption. This makes it exceptional for everyday use, special tasks, and gaming. The LTPO Rara Mold Display technology boasts a WQHD plus resolution of 3200 in 1440 pixels and a dynamic refresh rate ranging from 1 to 120 Hz, ensuring sharp and vibrant images while optimizing battery usage. Regarding brightness, the display reaches an impressive 3000 nits, surpassing claims of 2600 nits for the S24 Ultra and 2000 nits for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Nits refer to the brightness level of a display, whether it's a monitor, TV, laptop, or mobile screen. The higher the nits, the brighter the display. The pixel density PPI of the Xiaomi 14 Ultra's display is 520 to PPI, which is another remarkable aspect. Comparatively, the Esther 4 Ultra has 501 pi, 
and the iPhone 15 Pro Max has 460 ppi. It's important to note that I didn't use examples from obscure mid-range phones. I simply compared these two factors with today's smartphone industry claims and why they are important. Pixel density, PPI refers to the number of pixels per inch on the display surface. A higher PPI indicates greater pixel density on the display, resulting in clearer images and text and better image quality. Nits are units of measurement for the intensity of light on displays. One nit is equivalent to one candela per square meter. Nits indicate the brightness of the display in different environments. Mobile displays typically have different nit values, and some can perform well even in sunlight. A higher nit value means a brighter display with better quality and performance under sunlight. Considering these two concepts, choosing a display with high pixel density and suitable nits can enhance the user experience. The Xiaomi 14 Ultra is equipped with an IP68 rating meaning it is protected against dust and can withstand immersion in water up to 1.5 meters deep for up to 30 minutes without any issues. The Xiaomi 14 Ultra utilizes the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor beneath the display, providing excellent performance. Xiaomi has also developed its own air face and lock feature, which scans your face using the phone's front camera and utilizes artificial intelligence to recognize your face. It operates at a very high speed. If I were to compare it with the iPhone's Face ID, which uses a unique 3D scanner to scan your face completely, I would have said Face ID is stronger. However, when artificial intelligence comes into play, it's really hard to say which one provides better results. They both have the same level of accuracy, maybe even higher, and their speed is comparable. Here, artificial intelligence comes into play and it might even surpass face id's accuracy in this scenario even if you wake up with sleepy eyes in the morning artificial intelligence won't be fooled but in the case of the iphone 15 pro max with sleepy eyes early in the morning while still in bed face id won't detect your face fingerprint sensors in mobile devices are generally divided into two main types optical and ultrasonic. These two types of sensors use different methods for fingerprint detection, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. Optical fingerprint sensor. These sensors function based on optical fingerprint imaging. They typically use a small camera to capture an image of the fingerprint and identify it using image recognition algorithms. Multiple security layers are usually employed to protect fingerprint data. These sensors may be affected by temperature and humidity, which can impact their performance. Ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. This type of sensor uses ultrasonic waves to create a three-dimensional image of the fingerprint. Ultrasonic sensors generally have greater resistance to temperature and humidity conditions. Three-dimensional fingerprint imaging improves accuracy and security. Compared to optical sensors, ultrasonic sensors may have slightly slower fingerprint detection. Now let's compare these two. Accuracy. Ultrasonic fingerprint sensors usually have higher accuracy due to their use of three-dimensional imaging. Security. Both types of sensors use security layers to protect fingerprint data, but ultrasonic sensors generally offer higher security due to three-dimensional imaging. Environmental resistance. Ultrasonic sensors typically have greater resistance to temperature and humidity conditions. Speed. Optical sensors may operate faster, while ultrasonic sensors may be slightly slower in fingerprint detection. Let's talk about the color options of this phone. This phone is available in four color options, black, blue, white, and titanium gray. Finally, Xiaomi has also entered the titanium market. But why has the titanium body become so popular? Because titanium is a lightweight and highly durable metal. This titanium frame provides the phone with greater resistance to impacts and scratches, as well as a longer lifespan.
close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And I Turns the sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways and on and on we'll go. Let's move on to the performance, where Xiaomi truly has something to brag about. The device is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 CPU which is currently one of the most powerful CPUs available in smartphones. This CPU has been optimized by Xiaomi to deliver higher performance than regular Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 models. It's a 4 nanometer CPU. Additionally, the device features a Qualcomm Adreno 750 GPU, which ensures top-notch graphics rendering for images and games. In fact, it wouldn't be an exaggeration to call this phone not only a camera phone, but also a highly powerful gaming device. When it comes to benchmark tests, you'll see for yourself. Xiaomi 14 Ultra comes in two models with DDR5X RAM options of 12GB and 16GB, operating at a speed of 8,533 megabits per second. It is also available in three storage capacities, 256GB, 512GB, and one terabyte of SSD storage. Xiaomi 14 Ultra is available in two versions, a China-specific model and a global version. Here are some key differences to consider if you're looking to purchase this phone. In the Chinese version, the battery capacity is 5300mAh, while in the global version, it's 5000mAh. The global version supports multiple languages, including English, French, and Persian, and it includes Google services such as Play Store, Google Maps, and YouTube. However, the Chinese version does not have Google services and comes preloaded with Chinese apps. It lacks support for Persian language in menus and keyboards. The system is filled with Chinese apps that may not be useful, along with intrusive advertisements. While the global version seamlessly integrates with Google services, Including Play Store and Google Maps, the Chinese version relies on Baidu instead of Google for search and other services. Additionally, using a custom ROM to convert the Chinese version to the global version can void the warranty and may lead to issues with Google Play functionality and updates. In China, Google services are restricted, so the Chinese version does not include them. Users resort to using Baidu instead of Google for various services, such as email and search. Flashing the device with a global ROM can lead to warranty voidance and potential issues with Google services functionality. It also complicates the update process, as the device's serial number will still be associated with the Chinese region, making it challenging to receive updates unless reverting to the original Chinese ROM. Let's move on to the software section. Xiaomi 14 Ultra features HyperOS, the new operating system by Xiaomi, which is used on all new Xiaomi phones. HyperOS, currently in version 1, is based on Android 14 and replaces the combination of Android OS and the MIUI graphical interface used in previous Xiaomi versions. I've developed a separate program about HyperOS and I've provided the link above. Be sure to check it out to see the features this new operating system adds it's to Xiaomi phones and the differences it has from the MIUI graphical interface. Let's move on to the connectivity and communications section of the Xiaomi 14 Ultra, where something interesting has happened recently in this area. This mobile phone supports Wi-Fi 7 and various types of navigation systems. First, there's GPS. The Global Positioning System GPS is a space-based system to determine the position and location of an object on Earth's surface. This system was created 
and is managed by the United States government. GPS relies on a constellation of satellites orbiting the Earth. GPS essentially consists of three main components, satellites. A constellation of satellites orbiting the Earth continuously sends information about their positions to GPS receiver devices. GPS receivers. These devices process the positional information received from satellites. GPS receivers are commonly found in mobile phones, cars, airplanes, and other modern communication or transportation vehicles. Ground control system. This component of the GPS system is responsible for managing and controlling the satellites. It provides the necessary information to be transmitted to the satellites. The functioning of the GPS system is as follows. Satellites transmit information about their own position and time to GPS receiver devices. The GPS receiver device identifies the information received from multiple satellites and uses the time difference between this information to calculate its precise position. Based on the information received from the satellites, the GPS device calculates and displays the geographical coordinates and position of the object. In general, GPS is a satellite-based positioning technology that determines precise locations based on tracking signals received from satellites in various fields including navigation, racing, military and other mechanized location-related issues. It's important to note that GPS isn't just for use in vehicles. Its use isn't limited to apps like Waze, Google Maps or Uber. It serves important purposes beyond those applications. Do you know that missiles and airplanes use the GPS system for navigation and guidance? Do you think the world's superpowers are willing to entrust the control of their sensitive weaponry to GPS and its controller, the United States of America? Certainly not. Therefore, each of them has its own dedicated system. For example, Russia uses GLONASS, a system similar to GPS. China uses BDS, developed by Baidu. It seems like everything in China is based on Baidu. Even the American ally, Europe, has its own system, Galileo. Japan uses QZSS and India uses Novik. Xiaomi 14 Ultra supports all of these systems. Additionally, it supports an FC, Bluetooth, an IA Blaster. There's also a unique feature in Xiaomi 14 Ultra, where it establishes two-way communication with satellites for sending and receiving data and messages via satellite, known as satellite internet. However, this phone is locked to certain satellites, so you don't need any additional equipment to use them. I haven't seen if it supports Starlink natively or if it needs to be unlocked or updated through software because it should work seamlessly. It finds and connects the satellites within two seconds. I tested it with Chinese satellites and within two seconds it connected in the middle of the ocean where there were no mobile antennas within 100 kilometers and all communications including voice, video, SMS and internet were established. It's fascinating, isn't it? Remember, satellite dishes you have at home will you for receiving and don't have this particular issue termed as one-way communication. But you should be able to send as well as receive because you're not supposed to only hear the other party's voice. You should also be able to speak. Therefore, you should be able to send to satellites as well. To weigh satellite communication supported by Xiaomi 14 Ultra is what it's called. I haven't seen any other phone that supports this kind of communication so far. Maybe I haven't seen it, but if you come across any, please let me know in the comments. Let's move on to the battery section. In this section, the phone is being released with two different batteries. Global versions of the phone are whipped with a 5000 mAh battery, while the Chinese versions come with a 5300 mAh battery. No matter how much I thought and searched, I couldn't understand the reason behind this difference or what message Xiaomi intended to convey with it. Perhaps they want to encourage users to forget about Google's apps and use Chinese apps like Baidu and QQ and therefore have a slightly larger battery capacity of 300mAh. I don't know, maybe you can share your thoughts in the comments. 
In the charger section, this phone is being released with a 90 watts wired charger with turbocharged 90 watts capability, which charges from 0 to 100% in 33 minutes. However, I have also seen models that come with a 120 watts charger. What's interesting is that even with the 120 watts charger, it still charges from 0 to 100% in 33 minutes with turbocharged 90 watts capability. So, I couldn't understand what happened with the extra 30 watts in this regard, because they cannot go above 90 watts in turbo mode, and no one charges the phone other than in turbo mode. The coolest part comes with the wireless charger, where Xiaomi has introduced an 80 watts wireless charger. Yes, you heard it right, 80 watts wireless with turbo charge capability, charging from 0 to 100% in just 46 minutes. Honestly, 80 watts wireless is quite monstrous. Xiaomi 14 Ultra features to SIM card slots. These slots are designed for nano SIM cards. Unfortunately, this phone does not support eSIM, so you can use the physical SIM cards in this device. Additionally, this phone is equipped with a USB Type-C 3.2-gen support. Let's move on to the camera section, where the Xiaomi 14 Ultra truly shines. For the selfie camera, it employs a 30-megapixel camera with a 22mm wide lens, delivering exceptional image quality. This camera supports HDR and panorama modes, ensuring high-quality photos and videos. With the selfie camera, you can capture videos in stunning 4K resolution at either 30 or 60 frames per second, as well as in 1080p resolution at the same frame rates. It's truly impressive. Xiaomi 14 Ultra is equipped with a powerful quad camera system on the back. The main camera features a 50 megapixel Sony L YT900 sensor with a 1 inch dimension and optical image stabilization OIS. It boasts an adjustable aperture ranging from f1.63 to f4.0 and exceptional anti-reflection ADL coating. Additionally, the ultra-wide 50-megapixel camera with an f1.8 aperture and ADL coating is also housed in this module. Compared to the IMX989 sensor, the LYT900 sensor reduces energy consumption by up to 43% and achieves a dynamic range of 1.4 EV, which is 9.5 times greater than the IMX989. This means that detailed information in shadows and bright areas is captured well. Overall, the light absorption in the main camera of this phone is considered to be 205% of that of the main camera of the iPhone 15 Pro Max, indicating that we are dealing with an extraordinary camera. The telephoto portrait camera with a 50 megapixel sensor, optical stabilization, f, 1.8 aperture, and 3.2x magnification is also included in this setup. Additionally, a periscopic telephoto camera with a 50 megapixel sensor, stabilization, f, to 0.5 aperture, and 5x magnification has been added to it. This phone uses Leica lenses for its cameras. Leica is a German company that operates in the field of manufacturing cameras, lenses, binoculars, rifle scopes, microscopes, medical lenses, and other optical products. With its long history dating back to the mid-19th century, it is recognized as one of the reputable and popular brands in the world of professional photography. Leica lenses, due to their high quality, Exceptional imaging performance and impeccable craftsmanship provide photography enthusiasts with an unparalleled experience. Leica lenses are one of the most important factors in the world of professional photography. Designed for Leica M cameras, these lenses are renowned for their high quality and exceptional design. Here are some key points about Leica lenses. High quality glass. Selecting the right glass is of paramount importance. In the production of Leica lenses, only the best optical glass is used. For the current lens production, about 100 different types of glass are required to produce approximately 360 lens elements. Many of these glasses have been developed and patented in the Leica glass laboratory, 
founded in 1948. Exceptional imaging performance. Leica engineers constantly strive to push the boundaries of technical possibilities. The result of this effort is lenses that are virtually flawless, with minimal distortion, high color saturation, and precise color separation. Timeless excellence. Leica M lenses are designed to meet high quality standards for both digital and film photography. These lenses are available in focal lengths ranging from 16 mm to 135 mm and apertures up to f 0.95. Their excellent sharpness, distinct differences, and neutral color rendition make them as reliable today as they have been since 1954, compatible with any Leica M camera. In summary, Leica M lenses offer high quality, unique design, and unparalleled compatibility providing photographers with an exceptional photography experience. In the filming section, you can capture videos in remarkable resolutions, 8K at 24, 30fps, 4K at 24, 30, 60, 120th fps, and 108 op at 30, 60, 120 240, 480ths, 960, 1920 fps, which is truly a masterpiece. Xiaomi, which had previously offered a photography kit for the 13 Ultra, has also made this kit available for the 14 Ultra. The connection part of this kit is exactly the same shape as the back panel of the phone and can be connected via the USB-C port. The purpose of this accessory is to turn the phone into a professional camera, utilizing shutter buttons, video recording buttons, and dials for adjusting shutter speed aperture, white balance, ESO, and more. The video recording button can even be customized and used for other tasks. In addition to these controls, a battery is also embedded in this connectable section. This battery, with a capacity of 1,500 mAh, acts as an external backup battery and starts charging if the phone's charge drops below 80%. This battery also has a high charging speed and supports fast charging of up to 90 watts. Additionally, with the USB port provided, simultaneous charging of this accessory and the phone itself is possible. With this intriguing accessory, users can hold the Xiaomi 14 Ultra horizontally and experience a photography experience similar to that of professional cameras. On the other hand, its battery also relieves users' concerns about charging the mobile phone. Xiaomi 14 Ultra Photography Kits are available into colors, white and black. Now, let's take a look at some photos taken with this masterpiece.
Thank you so much, friends, for being with me throughout this program. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll receive notifications as soon as a new video is released. Also, if you enjoyed the program, please like it so that YouTube will recommend it to more people.